Hey guys, uh, this is just a very quick episode. I need to install these LED spotlights on my Rexy. So yeah, I'm gonna put them behind the grill. I'm gonna mount them where the horns used to be. So I'm going to paint them first because what's the point of putting just normal LED spotlights on your car when you can paint them? So I'm gonna paint them fluoro red. To do that, I just need to scuff them up first and then I'm going to spray some white, then the fluoro, then clear, and install them on the Rexy. Check it out. LED spotlights. So I'm masking them up before I start sanding, just so I don't accidentally sand the lens. Because um, yeah, I just don't want to do that. All right, just gonna use some of the old scotchy. See, it's getting scuffed up. That's original finish. That's a scuffed up finish. It's getting scratched. Okay, now I'm gonna spray it white. So first, I'll mix up my white base coat and um, base coat paint is 50-50, so. I'm gonna put 50 mils of paint and guess how much thinners I'm gonna put. Yes, 50 mils of thinners. Yeah. In my mini gun. Alright. Okay, now I'm going to mix up my fluoro fluoro red base coat um, and spray over the white and I'm going to mix up the same as the uh, white just 50 50 there it is there it's pretty spectacular if you're wondering why I look tired it's because it's 6 a.m. and I couldn't sleep so I thought I would paint something anyway here we go now my spray gun all I did was just wash it out with thinners so yeah I didn't do a full clean I just sprayed some thinners in there and I've just um, given it a, a run through with the thinners. And I mean, yeah, it doesn't really matter too much that there's a little bit of white in there. So again, I'm gonna go 50 mils. Okay, so there is the fluoro base coat. It's very uh, flat, I mean, there's no gloss. So I'm gonna put some 2K clear on for protection and that'll give it some shine too. Let's do it. Okay, clear. Uh, this is the 2K clear I use in the color of the week videos on wings. Um, it just dries very fast. So in about 15 minutes, I can touch it and I'll be able to install it on the car. So let's just do it. It's four to one, four parts of the clear, one part of the hardener. Whoops. Now I've got to clean my gun and then I can wait a few minutes, I can install it on the Rexy. Let's do it. Okay, so I've got the bumper cover off and I'm going to start installing these things. Now I've done one already, so all it is 
is just a little bracket that holds the light and that needs to screw onto some kind of mounting point. Now on this WRX, there is two little um, brackets here and that is where the bumper cover clips on to the front of the car. And well, I think it's a perfect spot to mount these bad boys. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm using this little E-clip to hold it on. I'll put the bumper on, um, then I'll screw a bolt over the top to hold it on and it will be sweet. So. Yeah, it's easy as that. And basically, I got a wiring loom from Auto Shop and it gives you these clips, so I'll clip them in. That goes to um, a fuse and a relay will go in there. Um, you have a button, on off button that you need to install inside the cabin and obviously you connect your power and your earth. I'll connect them straight to the battery. Um, next I need to connect a switch from my headlights so that when I flip the headlights on um, these puppies will come on as well. So I need to find anywhere from the high beams to chuck into switch so I'm just going to use that tap into it and that'll give me my little tapping switch okay so this is my headlight uh, high beam uh, cable it connects to the ballast because I've got uh, HIDs so it's pretty easy to work on and this is going to give me my little signal to flick on the uh, LED spotlights here is a little clip that comes with the harness kit so all I have to do is attach that to the thing, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Let's strip that. Now, I'm not a professional, but I'm gonna give it a go. So, yeah, don't knock my soldering skills. I'm pretty dodgy when it comes to this stuff. Okay. So, I've got some solder. I'm actually gonna do it this way. Put my heat shrink on. There we go. Alright, that's one. And that looks nice and professional. Okay, so I've installed the switch, uh, installed the light, the cables go up to a relay. The relay has a switch and the relay is connected to the power and the, ne um, the negative source of the battery and there is also a tap-in switch from the high beams so the high beams are on, the lights are off, I flick the little switch and the spotlight comes on. So got headlights, spotlights, piece of light, and that is awesome. Okay, so there you go. Spotlights are there behind the grill, and the E-clip is holding it on. And those bolts are connected over the bumper cover. situation alrighty so I'm in an extremely dark area and I'm ready to test my lights so let's see the different light combinations I've got now that I've installed the LED spotlights check it out okay so that is regular headlights 
regular headlights. That's with my HID fog lights on. And now I flick my high beams. That is with the high beams on. It's actually pretty good. So high beams with the LED spotlights. No high beams, LED spotlights, just regular headlights. So it's pretty good. Now let's try it without the LED spotlights. High beams with, oh, that's without. That's without the LED spotlights. That's with the LED spotlights. And as you can see, that is just my regular headlights. And a lot of people are saying that my lights are illegal. Well, they're not really because, as you can see, the headlights just emit a bright white light. So there's no need for any, any form of uh, def defection there. Now, if I drive around like this, like I did in the video, then yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, that's red. Of course, you get booked for that. But it's night time, and um, I'm not an idiot, so I don't drive around like that. Alrighty, so I painted the uh, LED spotlights, installed them behind the grill on the WRX, uh, hooked them up to my um, battery, and put a uh, tap in switch for the high beam. So now, when I flip my high beams on, got the LED spotlights, and I've actually got some light. So yeah, I uh, hope you liked the episode. Pretty cool. Since that, uh, since I installed them, um, I painted this new bonnet that I had. So um, yeah, check that out. It's uh, 